What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. And ladies and gentlemen, today's video is a banger. Let me just tell you that right now. As you guys can see, we got ourselves an amazing Buzzsaw team. It's looking spiffy, it's looking strong, and we're ready to get some wins with it. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Really, it does. The support is crazy on the channel. But this team right here was sent in by my boy, Tashar. Yo, Tashar, thank you so much for dropping this team. It's looking amazing. Like I said, it's got a ton of different cool Pokemon. Three Ultra Beasts, two starters, and one legendary Pokemon. But rocking out in our top left corner over here, we got Buzzful. He is actually, I believe, the last Ultra Beast that we have to show off in the Crown Touch or in this game on Online Battles. We got Buzzful with Beast Boost ability. That is Assault Vest, it is Bug and Fighting Typing with Close Combat, Leech Life, both stab moves, and an Ice Punch, and High Horsepower, both for coverage moves. To the right, we got the boy Thunderous over here, Defiant Ability, Life Orb over here with Protect, Wild Charge, Fly, and Lash Out. Behind the face cam, we got the one and only Jelly Boy. We got Nihilego over here, one of the Ultra Beasts on this team, with Beast Boost, Focus Sash, Power Gem, Sludge Bomb, both for Stab, Protect as one of the moves, and then Dazzling Gleam as a nice little Fairy coverage move. Over on the right, we got the boy in Cinnamon. I don't really have to say much about him. He's got the Intimidate, got the Fake Out, got the Pardon Shot, and then Flare Blitz and will o -Wisp. Does his thing, just rocks out, and gets his, gets work done. Swampert in the bottom left. We actually showed off Swampert a couple of videos ago. He's very, very strong. Very strong Pokemon here. We used him with the Choice Band, but now we got the Mystic Water over here with the Damp Ability, Flip Turn, Liquidation, High Horsepower, and Protect. Then in the final spot, our final Ultra Beast. We got Celesteela, Beast Boost, Leftovers, and this is just a big stall Pokemon with Protect, Substitute, Leech Seed, and Heavy Slam. Guys, you want to try out the team for yourself, get after it. Replica code is at the bottom of the screen, but we're going to get after it ourselves and hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. Sitting here for battle number one, and it already looks like we're in trouble. This guy's got Glacier, and you guys already know that thing's an absolute boss in Series 7. Such a strong Pokemon. He has Duskop set to trick him. Really don't want that to happen. He also has Dragapult over here. He, has, he can go into so many options here. He could be Weakness Policy Metagross, Weakness Policy uh, Glacier, Le Weakness Policy uh, Dragapult. That, that on my shell is definitely Focus Sash. The Finny could be... I don't think it's holding the orb because some, something else is going to be holding the orb. Uh, Metagross could be holding a Assault Vest, but dude, this, this is looking a little tough for us. This is looking a little tough for us. Who should I lead? How should I get after this? Um, Glacier? Do I think he's going to lead Glacier. I kind of want to get this. Uh, I really want Incineroar right here, turn one. I kind of want Buzzwool. I want to get going with Buzzwool. It's pretty, it's pretty solid. We're going to get Buzzwool over here. I kind of want to go. Do I want to go Incineroar with this? I don't want to bring Swampert in here. Swampert's not a bad choice. Yeah, I would definitely want to bring Swampert. We're going to go here. Uh, we're going to go Swampert as well. And then in the final spot, do we go Thunders? I think we go Thunders. Thunders can rock out. He's got the air moves for speed boost. He's got the wall. Uh, hmm. Do I want him? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get him out of here. Let's get him out of here. He's got the uh, electric move so we can switch terrains. He does have the misty terrain, so we got to watch out for that. If I go for a Will-O-Wisp with my boy uh, Incineroar. So definitely got to watch out for that terrain. That's a little scary. We got the fake out, fake out too, but no second terrain popping out here. But yo, I'm ready for this one. I'm ready for this one. Season 7 is still feeling very, very good to me. Let me know in the comment section down below if uh, Series 7 is still uh, feeling good for you guys. Because there's just so many Pokemon that I, I just keep going into. I can just keep playing and the game feels new. But he goes with my shout and Dragon Ball here. My Shell and Dragon Bolt. We do get the Intimidate drop on the My Shell, which is huge, which is huge, because I think it's physical attacking. He's in a focus, and the other one's cleared by. Never mind. Never mind, yo. We do nothing with that. Obviously, we're going to fake out the My Shell. My Shell might just protect, but I kind of just want to put a burn on, too. But what do I want to do here? Do I just Ice Punch this thing? Just eat it? <laughs> I said we just do that. I said we just eat it up. Um, do I go for the fake out, or do I go for the burn? I think I just play it safe. Go for the fake out on the My Shell. Make the safe play, and roll from there. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I don't, I don't think he knows we're rocking Ice Punch. I don't think he knows that we're rocking Ice Punch on this thing. He's going to withdraw the pole. That's totally fine. Got to withdraw the pole all day. I think we didn't go for the burn. We're going to get an Ice Punch on this thing and roll off from there. My shot might just protect. Let's see what happens. This thing's frisking me. Sees my Assault Vest and my Mago Berry. Like, chilling me. And the fake out does come out. Okay. So, no move coming in from you. Hopefully, maybe we can get a freeze on this thing. Hi, Jump Kick coming in here. It's in our focus. What, like, what am I... What am I doing? Jeans, what are you doing? I, I really I really need to know. You saw this thing was in a focus, but you forgot that you can't fake it out. It's a tough move by me. That's a tough move by me. Maybe I should have just uh Maybe I should've just burned it. Ice punch coming out here. Give me the freeze or something. <laughs> okay. We got leech life, we got close combat. Um hmm. what I really wanna do here. I just wanna I just wanna I don't even know what I wanna do here. Dang man! Dang it! Um, I mean, nothing could go into a, uh, 
in Trick Room, which he probably is going to do. And then I have Swampert. Swampert might be my Dynamax for fun, if that's the case. 94 to 179. E. E. Um, I guess we'll just let Incineroar go down here. That was dumb play by me. Definitely should have will o -Wist him. Um, I think we drop an Ice Punch on this thing. And then maybe we try to get off a burn? Maybe we try to get off a burn on this thing? Just pester through the rest of the game. High Jump Kick. Connects again, dude. This thing's connecting on high jump kicks left and right. Left and right. There's two in a row. And he gets a crit. What you mean? Even though we were dead regardless. We were dead regardless for that, of that one. Ice punch popping through. Yeah, you might think I'm actually like Sash or something. Or not Sash. Like a choice or something. Oh, you. <laughs> Bruh. What you mean? What you mean? He's burning us up. We're burned, dude. Now, I have a bunch of physical attackers. And I cannot be allowing us to get burned. We each get, keep getting burned. We're done. We do have a lash out. I think that's what we have to go after. I think we gotta Dynamax this boy right here and get after that Dust Cops. I, I can't I can't be dealing with it. I can't be dealing with that thing Willow Whisper all three of my Pokemon and then us just going down loose. So in that case, we will get after it. I do want to Ice Punch take out my shout and I do want to Dynamax here and go into a darkness. Even though it's not stab, really would like this special defense drop and roll out up against the Dust Cops. We should be fastest on the field. But oh my god, he's gonna burn me. He's going to burn me so hard. Bruh! I can't do I can't deal with this dust cop. If this dust cop burns my thunders, it is game over. Game one is in the dumpsters, bro. And dust cop is MVP. That's hands down. That's hands down. I was thinking I should have doubled into it, but we're not gonna do a lot of damage with the, with an ice punch over on the dust cops. Evil lady and burn. We do go first, obviously. And we're gonna do some damage. We need a crit or something. No crit, but still big damage. Special defense drop popping here. That's totally fine. To get it even though we have no special attackers we're all physical don't you dare burn me don't you dare burn me knock off you're gonna take off my orb bruh he's just pestering me you know what you're gonna burn me now ice punch tell him my shot to get out of here get out of my face i'm sick of this thing sick of this thing and this thing burns me this thing burns me we do get a beast boost which is actually pretty nice we're gonna boost our attack I'm speechless, man. I'm speechless. This match is wrap it up. Wrap it up, dude. He still has Dynamax. This thing is such a pester. It is such a pester. It is so annoying. It is so annoying. We can't let it trick room. Actually, I kind of wanted to trick room. Like, my, my last bet is going to be my Swamp right? I got two burned physical attackers. He's got a Dynamax and Dragon Pole. I don't have my life orb anymore. Like, what do you want me to do? I'm just confused. We're going to go for this Ice Punch. I'll go for that all day. And I am going to take out this dust cops because I'm not dealing with it. I like I I hate this thing. <laughs> they didn't go for any trick room. Just it's, it's just like here, burn, 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 burn. They burn and poke my left and right. And of course, I brought all physical attackers. And this thing's just throwing burns left and right. He's gonna Dynamax Dragon Bolt, like I said. Um, I think I might be fine. He's probably weakness splash. He's gonna be weakness policy, and he's gonna shadow sneak into it. That's probably what's gonna happen. And he's gonna take out my uh, thunders. <laughs> just wild, ready? This dude just on me right now. He's just on me. Let's see, shadow sneak. Now he's gonna go for an airstream. But soul's gone. But soul's dead. It's all that all day. We're gonna take out the Klopsky poo. This thing's gonna get speed boost as well. Mm -mm -mm. Not having. It. I'm not having it today. It's a rough, just a rough set of matches right now. A rough, rough first match. Darkness comes out. That's Klops. Eats it? Yo. Huh? Who? What? What is going on? Eats it? Eats that. He, he ate that up. He ate that up, bro. I know. I get we're burned. I, I get that, guys. I get that we're burned. Like, I got that. 100%. I understand. But he eats that? What you mean? Bro, we're getting slammed up. We're getting slammed up right here. This one's over with, guys. This one is 100% over with. I am going to go for a uh, darkness. Hey, nah, we're going for lightning. We're setting our own terrain. Actually, we can't. We're going to go for an airstream. At least get some stab damage out on this thing. We're burned. I don't know what to do. This cop's going to shadow sneak before he goes out. And he is going to proc policy. He's going to proc policy. Swampert's dead, yo. Dude, that is game. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up, yo. Here comes the Phantasm. Thunderous is actually gone here. This thing is just, this thing is just poking, man. This thing is just taking me out left and right. The burns really won him that match. It really did. 
hate to break it, but Dust Cops won the match. Like, you never say that. You never say that, that a Dust Cops wins the match. But this guy tore it up with the Klopsky poo. That's how, that's how you guys know how deadly a Dust Cops can actually be with the burns and all that when you play them right. But that one was all me bringing all, all physicals. All physicals here did, did not help us out. Do I even have a special attacker on this team? Who did I pick? Okay, Celestial is a stall Pokemon, but still it's physical. Um, and then who was my final mod? Who's our, who's our six mod? I just, I have all, everybody here except for our six mod. I kind of, I don't even know my team. Let's see, let's see. Let's go Pokemon. And it is, uh, Nehalego. Okay, so yeah, maybe we start bringing Nehalego in every single match so we have a special attacker on us. But I'm, I'm gonna run this one. This one's over with. I mean, he took out two of his Pokemon, but still, yo, you can tell we absolutely just got smacked up on first battle, not in our favor. We can go roll into our second battle and try to get our first win with this team for this video. So let me get this straight. I am 12,000 and 12,000 like 500 on the ranking ladder right now. 12,500. You guys got that number? And I just got paired up against a 241? How does that make sense? It just, just doesn't make sense. He's like 12,000 more ranks ahead of me and I get paired up with them looks like Gene's gonna have to give him a smacking for the online gaming community for you guys for the Gene's online gaming community this guy has Draco's ult this team looks very scary by the way Draco's ult Excalibur Urshifu Tailwind Center with the Whimsicott Thunderous and Duraludon probably weakest policy Duraludon uh, I can see Life Orb and Hustle Draco's ult or Life Orb Thunderous our, our Thunderous is Life Orb the Draco's ult is still very very scary um kind of want to lead a fake out user I don't know, kind of really want to lead this fake out user. Um, hmm. Does have Urshifu. I don't want to bring. Gotta bring the hell Lego. Uh, hmm. Swampers not a bad choice here either. I'm gonna lead the hell Lego. Get him rolling. I think I'm gonna bring you. Then do I bring Buzzwole or Swampskis? Buzzwole or Swampskis? Swampskis. Uh, Buzzwole's not looking bad. Go Buzz. Let's get buzzing. Let's get buzzing, baby. Let's go, Jeez. Let's get it. We got Beast Boost out of buns with two of these beasts, Ultra Beast. So if we can pick up KO with one of them. Maybe we could potentially die next. He leads Wimscott. I'm thinking I'm just going straight for the fake out and uh, Sludge Bomb him so you can see you later. The Wimscott taking that Pester Pokemon out the way. But um, that's only if he leads him. That's only if he leads him. Let's see who he goes in. He goes in with a Thunders and a Drake. Okay, so he's looking to uh, set a terrain probably. The mold just with the Electric. Oh, we still have my boy, not Lego over here. Intimidate is going to be huge here. That's a big, that is a big, never mind, I hate myself. I hate myself. Defiant's popping here. Defiant is popping. I'm terrified now. I'm really, really scared. He's going to Dynamax that, obviously, so I it will throw out some burns, yeah. I will throw out some burns, and we're going to go for a power jam over on the side. But yeah, got to burn that thing. Got to start getting that thing down. Defiant, dude. I even have one. I even have one. I and mean, I, I forgot about it. He's gonna lash out here. Oh, yo, you crazy, dude. You crazy, man. Going after my Neha Neha Lego like that? Chill on him. Chill on him. We're gonna sash up. We're gonna sash pop. We're not faking out. I really don't want to fake out. I kind of just want to start throwing some burns around. Power Gem's coming out here. I probably shouldn't have. Power Gem's gonna take this thing out. I'll take that, and Burn's gonna fly over on Draco's ult. I'm with that. I like that play. I like that play. I like it a lot. And I know we outspeed that thing, and I doubt Jigga's ult's coming after me. He's gonna go for a horsepower, which we should be able to eat up. Oh, you go after him now, like, you double through onto him. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that turn one. I'm fine with that turn one. We take out his Defiant Pokemon, we go one for one, and we get a burn. And we get a burn on a big physical attacker. I like that. I'm fine with that turn. I'm fine with that turn all day. Okay, so, do I think he's gonna go into? Do I. Ooh, do I think he's gonna go into? Uh, Thunderous would be a safe play. But Buzzwool. Yeah, let's say Buzzwool for the back. Let's go Thunderous right now. And I could potentially just Dynamax and get after it. He's going to go Earth. Okay, so not bad. Not bad. I'll take this all day. Get my Thunderous out here. Let's get rolling. Let's get rolling. I uh, could throw a burn over on you too. <laughs> I think that's the play. Let's burn the Earth up. I get Dynamax and I can uh, actually just set an airstream. Start trying to take speed advantage. I'm not worried about Draco's ult one bit. He's burned and minus one. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Yeah, last match, we got burned up on hard. But this match, we're going to use uh, our weaknesses in battle number one in our favor for battle number two. That's how we're rolling. 
But yeah, I'm actually thinking about moving my webcam a little to the left. So like, it's not, I'm not just like looking right in front of it. I think if I put it a little to the left, you guys will know when I'm just like looking up at you guys. Like, you guys know how like some streamers, some uh, YouTubers, all that put a, a little to the side. They have to look over if they're talking to you. I think, feel like that would be better. And I want to get like a stuffed animal. That we can like, it's a gene stuff and give them a name and all that. We'll be rocking out. I think that'll be awesome. I think that'll be awesome. But I think it'll be pretty funny. Add some li more life to the channel. But he's gonna Dynamax as well. If you Dynamax Zolt, I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna laugh really hard. But he's definitely Dynamax and Urshifu. Let's see what we got. Wait, 241. This guy's 241. I'm like, where was it? He Dynamaxes Zolt? <laughs> yeah! Yes! <laughs> Unless this thing special attacking. No, he used high horsepower. Yeah. Second punch coming out of here. Whoa there. Oh there. Oh there. What are you doing? Urshifu goes down here. All right, Will-O-Wisp isn't going to do anything. Should just parting shot. Oh, dude. Did a heaping amount of damage on me. That sucker punch did that much damage on me? What is going on? What is going on here? He's going to go for a lightning. Over on the Thunders. And we eat. We eat and we outspeed. Like, what? This guy's 241? And he's Dynamaxing his ult like that? How am I not 241? I don't mean, that just doesn't make sense to me. He's burned. Again, I'm not worried about Draco's ult. Uh, do I take him out? Do I get rid of the Draco's ult now? I kind of am more worried about this expert. It's going to be Excalibur Battle of over here. Um, I, I'm thinking just dropping Flare Blitz into that thing. And going into an airstream. We go into landing, but it's not really gonna do much. I'd rather get oh mm. Actually, go here. I'm gonna parting shot onto you. I think it's just max lightning across on the six caliber. We got the terrain, we have the speed. I'd rather just parting shot, kinda keep this trick result down a little bit. And then get be able to get off another intimidate later. But there we go, some nice damage over here. Thunderous, losing some HP. Lightning coming out from the Zolt. Thunder should be able to eat up. That thing crit. That thing just crit on me. He did not crit, but we're gonna party on him again, yo. Like Draco Soul. Slow your roll, man. You're scaring me, man. You're scaring me. We're gonna bring out Buzzwool. Buzzwool should be thriving. And then there's another intimidate and a fake out with uh with uh Incineroar. Buzzwool popping. Oh, get him out there. And then this thing's gonna go for a nice little close combat. Yo, that's tasty snacky out there. That's so tasty. That is so tasty right there. That's delicious. That is delicious. And this thing's dropping the fence. Let's get him out of here. Let me, let me wrap this game up. Let me, let me wrap it up. Let me wrap it up for you guys. Let me wrap this one up. Uh, we could go for high horsepower. We could go for an ice punch. What do I really want to go for? I really want to take out uh, Excalibur. I really don't feel like dealing with it. I think I'm just going to drop a leech life. Hmm. Hmm. I don't, I don't really want to drop a close combat, but at the same time, I kind of do. Let me just ice punch into this, and then we just, uh, we get airstream speed here. I don't like that play. I'm liking that play. We'll go first, airstream. This guy was 241, and your boy smacked up on him? Give it to me. Give me the dubs. Give me the dubs. I'm, I'm the best. I'm the best. That, made, that just made up for battle number one. This guy is a whole 12,250 ranks ahead of me. At the top of the leaderboards. And your boy's clutching. Your boy's doing work. Actually, hold up. We should be fine. We should be fine. This thing is just like minus a thousand. Buzzwool shouldn't go down to whatever he has to throw at me. Ice punch popping here. No freeze. We can't get a freeze. This thing's gonna go for a worm win on me. That's totally fine. Again, we should be able to eat this one up. Look at that. Dude, this thing's doing no damage. No damage whatsoever. And then my antenna comes out here. Dropping that thing's attack again. We'll be able to ice punch it and probably finish this thing off. Even though we are minus one. We still got the fake out. Like, easy work. Easy work coming out from your boy, yo. Round of applause. I told you, we were doing it. We were doing it for the Jeans Online Gaming community. For you guys. Intimidate drops. Big plays. And we all finish this one off, dude. I'm too nice. I'm too nice, baby. I'm too nice. Sign me up for the professional tournament. Just sign me up. I'd rather close combat. Just finish this thing off. Get some big old stab damage rolling here. Get it. Battle was canceled. GG. Now we can hop into our third and final and look for that winning record. Third and final battle for this video. And this guy's got a cool team right here. Definitely in Trick Room. It's definitely actually like half Trick Room, half pretty speedy with the Glarian Articuno, Tapu Fini, and Cortana on one side. And then you got the Jinx. Never seen a Jinx in ranked battles before yet. Porygon 2 and Alolan Malak on the other side. So it's like half Trick Room, 
half, let's get after it, half, let's do damage. Like, you know, you guys know what I'm saying, but who should I go into? Who should Jeans leave? If he leaves that uh, Porygon, I could just kind of bring in Buzzswole, slap it up with the close combat, tell it to go home, get it out of my face. So that's option number one. Definitely want to bring in the Helego again. Nice little special attacker on the squad. Hmm. He has a physical attacker with the Kartana. Kind of want to bring that, uh, that Incineroar just in for that. He does have competitive, so I do have to watch out for that. So I, in that case, I'm not going to lead that. I'm going to lead Nehalego in case he leads Galarian. Uh, I kind of want to lead Buswell as well. He has no uh, Defy or no uh, Intimidate Pokemon, so Thunderous will not thrive from that. kind of want to bring uh, Thunderous. And I don't even think I want to bring in Sonora. I don't think I want to bring in Sonora here. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm just going to go Swamper. I'm going to go Nehalego, Buswell, Swamper, and Thunderous. Or do I try to bring in Sonora in the back end? I feel like that's always a good option. I think that is a good option. Bring him to back end. The Swamper gets uh, teed off on by that uh, Kartana easily, like all day. It's just over. And Jinx might be rolling freeze dry. So, just not the play. It's just not the play right now. It's just not the play. Swamper, this is my G. I love Swamper. I still gotta show up for Blaze Team. I got one on the way. It is like ready to go. I just gotta record with it, but I want to record with Buzzful first. So I was like, let's get after this one. But yeah, Swamper's just not the play right here. Not the play. If I get rid of Glarian Articuno and be able to get in, in Cinema, we'll be thriving. But he does go Jinx and Porygon. Jinx, Kipu, and Porygon. I don't I don't know what Jinx does. I just have no clue. We got Buzzful rolling out here. I kind of like this lead with the Buzzful. Um, download. Porygon's going to download. Get a little boost of his uh, attack stat. And I think I just close combat on that thing and get after it. I think that's the play. Power Gem can pop out here as well. But do I... Mm, yeah, yo. Let's, let's, just, let's just double in. Let's just double in on these fools. I could go for a Leech Link, too. I'd rather uh, hit hard with this uh, Buzzful. Maybe swap him out for an Incineroar later. Fake out. Jinx is faking out. Hey! Chill on me. Power gem coming out here. And he's probably going to roll a trick him. Power gem this thing. Get it out of here. Jinx is sash as well. Good to know. That is good to know. This thing trick room. I can see a trick room. Plus 12 flinches. And trick room is up. E! Chill on me, man. Alright. Hmm. I think Gleam's to play here. Take out Jinx and Porygon. And then Buzzful is like flexing around here. And I'm gonna still gonna try to get this close combat drop on this thing. Okay, okay. Let's see what he does. Let's see the play. He might swap out Jinx to get another fake out chance in later in the match. I wouldn't be surprised to see that. Let's see what happens. Ice beam popping. We'll eat that up all day. Now Lego says, yo. He's probably gonna get the freeze. He does not get the freeze. Plus full is actually slower than the Jinx. Doing some nice damage over on that Porygon. Uh, I could swap him now. We are soul fested and we are thriving. I might swap him next turn. Expanding force coming. Ooh, never mind. Never mind. Okay, no, no terrains out. So I'm, I'm fine with that. No terrains out. I think I swap him now. That's when Gleam comes out. And we gonna pop here. Do some damage. Um. Okay, so Jinx is down. Do I think he, there's no way he's bringing out a Glarian Articuno? There's no way he's bringing out Glarian Articuno. So I might just swap the uh, Buzzwool this turn. Getting the Intimidate. Let's see who he brings out. Let's see who he brings out. I think Malwak. Yeah, Malwak didn't come out here. Um, swap the bus wall. Get the intimidate drop. Is it is that thing physical? I'm trying to think. It might be physical. I think I swap. I think I swap. I think I just go for a gleam here. Gleam takes out Porygon. The Porygon's gonna take out me. I think I just get out of the cinema. Get my bus wall back to normal. Did you see him flexing? He's just like, you like bringing out the cannons. <laughs> he just does like a sideways flex. He, he ain't it. He's all about it. He's all about it. And Cinemore's popping here. He's got to be Dynamaxing. Intimidate coming out here. I'm not sure if this thing's physical attacking. I can see it being physical attacking. And then at the same time, I can't. Like, I'm pretty sure it's fire move that he rocks out with his flare. But so if it is that, he's physical attacking it. And I'm intimidating it a bit, a bit bigger than I, than I thought it would be. But here he goes. Mal whack. Mal whack. I could see him uh, trying to drop a heat move on the mine similar slot, which I really, really like. Probably is that uh, the thick club, making do more damage, and Porygon's gonna take out the Lego, probably no problem. Yeah, here comes the flare over onto Incineroar slot, which I like. I like that all day, yo, all day. I'll eat that up. That's tasty snacky out there, buddy. Not very effective. We eat, we eat skis. Eats out, eats rolling. Miss Porygon, miss or something. Gonna go for an ice beam. The Lego's gonna go down here. Hands down. See you later, buddy. Nice, nice knowing you. Nice knowing you. Buzzwool, does Buzzwool come back out? That's the real question. Do we bring out the one, the only Thunderous here? He does have ground moves and fire. 
I don't want to bring out Thunders and Dynamax. Get after it. I, I think that's a play. I think that's a play. We still have a fake out, which I might just fake out Porygon. Probably the play. Drop a little fake out on Porygon and uh, drop a big move onto that, that thingy over there. I could Darkness. Or I could fly and dodge this turn. I could totally do that. That could be the play. But what I really want to do, we got, I said we just go for a special defense drop, roll from there. We don't really need speed, we don't need our terrain just yet. So I'm going to go here, I'm just going to fake out onto you. Alright, let's play, let's go. Come on, Gene, come on, baby. Let's eat, let's eat. Here was my Dynamax. We got the one, the only. Thing is fire, what is he, fire and ghost, I believe? With ground typing moves, probably. Fire and ghost, this thing is nut. This thing is nut. This thing's definitely going to ice beam me, this poor guy. Actually, no, it's not. We're faking it out. We're faking it out. We're giving the little clap skis. The clap skis. All right, let's see what happens here. I do like shiny Porygon. He does look tough. Fake out coming out here. Does this KO? I hope it KOs. Of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Porygon's too good. It's going to quake on me. That's fine. I don't mind Incineroar really going down here. Actually, he might be able to eat. He does not. He does not eat. I knew he had a ground move. I knew he was rocking ground moves. The special defense is going to get boosted. I really don't care. I, again, I got physical attackers in the lineup here. I do not have protect on Buzzhole, which is actually very, very scary. Unless we can just dump on this thing right here. But of course, Porygon survives another turn. That's a little tough news. The Trick Room is thriving. Doing some nice damage. Another one of these will actually take out. I could guard this turn, but he is just going to go after Buzzhole, so I don't think I have to guard. E, E, E. We are soul bested. Are soul bested. Again, I do not know if this thing's physical or special. I really do forget. But if it is physical, again, it's minus one. And if it is special, we have a soul fest rocking on. Uh, do we think he's going to guard? I really don't think he's going to guard. I think we can just take him out here. And then I think I just drop a, like an ice punch or something along these lines. Leech life, maybe. Over on the four gun slot. Take it out. Let's see what you got, fool. What are you doing? He's definitely not guarding. There's not a chance. He's going to go for the flare. Plus swolls. He's gone. So it comes down to the one, the only, the boy right here. And I I kind of think we can do it. I'm not going to lie here. I'm not going to lie. I kind of think we can do it. If Well, we have to take it out here. We got to get a we gotta get a nice shot on this one. Okay. All right. All right. Hear me out. Hear me out. We have one Dynamax turn left. We come out here. Trick room ends soon. Trick room should end in, I think, one more turn. One more turn. So all we gotta do is eat up an ice beam. Oh, Trick Room ends right now. Whoa. 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 The real question is who do I take out? It's Kartana. I don't think I'm taking out Kartana in one shot. And that thing is scary, man. I don't think I'm taking out Kartana in one shot. Even though I have to try. I have to try to take out Cartana. The thing hits too hard. Oh, we got a tough one. We got a tough final little slot right here. If Buzzwool had Protect on him, we're thriving that battle. We, that, that, battle's, that battle's dumb. This battle's an easy dumb. My well, boy doesn't have Protect. I wish, I wish he did have Protect, though. This comes out here. Ah, man. Man! We don't pick up the KO. We do get a speed boost, though. This thing's probably going to trick him or something. Let's see what happens. Nice slash. Now, I know we have to get rid of this thing. Oregon Z is going for an ice beam. Lifeform's going to take us out next turn. I do not have any double hitting moves. What you mean? This one's over with. Oh! I need. I should have took out the Porygon. If I took out the Porygon, that's game. If I took out Porygon, we win! No! Bro, if I took out Porygon, it was game over. I'm so just gonna go for a wild charge here. Take me out. That's game. GG. GG, man. Dude, if I took out Porygon, we, we probably would have won that game. We would have won that game if, Por if, we, if, if we took out Porygon. Oh, no. Bad play by Gene Joe. That's gonna be the game, yo. GG, this guy. Porygon 2, MVP for the match. But yeah, we go 1 and 2. We get to show off some awesome battles. Get a big win up against a top 200 player. And we ended up losing this one, but still having a good battle. One last shout out to my boy Tashar for dropping this team. I absolutely loved it. First battle, we struggled a little bit. Second battle was a really good one. Took down a top 200 player on the rank ladder. And the third battle, we uh, we made a few bad plays, but I'll take that one. That one's on me. We'll take that one to the chin, and we'll, we'll learn from it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.
Peace out, everyone. Thank you.